Let's compute the sum from the 2010 IMC competition, where the sum is the sum of all reciprocal of all four consecutive natural numbers up to infinity. At first sight, this may look complicated, but trust me, it is possible to compute this sum. When we are dealing with this kind of sum, we generally don't want the denominator to be products of all these terms. We want to separate them, so we shall do partial decomposition of fractions. And I'll leave the details to you guys to figure it out. After you are done with partial fractions, we'll end up with the following expression, where we can write the whole sum as 1 6 times 5. The summation from 0 to infinity of 1 over 4k plus 1 minus 3 over 4k plus 2 plus 3 over 4k plus 3 minus 1 over 4k plus 4. And now, judging from the nature of these four terms, if you are familiar with integration, you will quickly realize that, for example, this first term is the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4k dx. So we see that we can actually turn the inner part of the summation into an integral. So we have that 1 6 times by the summation from k equals to 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4k minus 3 x to the power of 4k plus 1 plus 3 times by x to the power of 4k plus 2 minus x to the power of 4k plus 3 dx. And now we can actually interchange the summation and the integration where you have that p is equal to 1 6 integral from 0 to 1 of the summation from k equals to 0 to infinity and we sum up all the terms. And what's good about this is because all these terms, when we sum up one by one, is actually a geometric series and therefore we can write the whole thing as the integral from 0 to 1 1 over 1 minus x to the power of 4 minus 3x 1 minus x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared over 1 minus x to the power of 4 minus x cubed over 1 minus x to the power of 4 and the whole thing we integrate it with respect to dx. So now let's combine the whole thing into one fraction. We have the following expression. And we see that the numerator is actually equals to 1 minus x of 3 over and the denominator is 1 minus x to the power 4 dx. And now, let's simplify this. We can factorize the denominator into 1 minus x, 1 plus x, and 1 plus x squared. So let's cancel out the 1 minus x term from the numerator and the denominator. So now we are left with 1 6 the integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus x squared over 1 plus x and 1 plus squared dx. And this is actually a standard integration. And so we first do it by partial fractions. And again, I'll leave the details to you guys to figure out that this is actually equal to 2 over 1 plus x minus x plus 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. 
Now, we should split the integral into three parts. We will separate the two terms. So let's actually take out the one six, and everything is just routine integration. The first term is two ln the absolute value of one plus x, and the second term let's do a u substitution, where we let u equals to one plus x squared, du equals to 2x dx. And so this whole thing becomes integral 0 to 2 of 1 over 2u du. And for the final term, it's actually a well known integration which is the inverse tangent of x. And we'll evaluate it at the limits of integration of. 1 and 0. So let's actually write out the final one. This natural law of this. And so let's compute this. When x you can see that when x equals to 0, this whole thing is actually 0. Similar when u equals to 1, this whole thing is also 0. So we have that this is equal to 1 6 of 2 natural log of 2 minus 1 half natural log of 2. And for this, the tangent of 1 is actually pi over 4. And the tangent of 0 is actually also 0. So therefore, we have our final answer as the natural law of 2 over 4 minus pi over 24. And so we are done.